the rewrite fees in terms of first power of cosine. A couple things. First of all, it's a sine to the fourth. We're trying to get to first power, so that's going to be power reducing formula. Which for sine says sine squared equals one minus cosine two u over two. So sine to the fourth is actually just sine squared squared. So when we go through all of this, we'll replace it with the power reducing formula. But that only takes care of sine squared, so it's still squared. So now we will multiply it out. That's 1 minus 2 cosine 2x two plus cosine squared. And now we have cosine squared. We're trying to get to be a regular cosine. So now we need to use the cosine power reducing formula. Which is pretty similar. It just changes to plus cosine. Now the tricky part is remembering that this u in the problem is actually a 2x. So this could be 2 times 2x. So it's 1 minus 2 cosine 2x plus, now we do our substitution with our power reducing formula, 1 plus cosine, now remember u is 2x, so we replace it with 2x there, 2 times 2x is 4x, and then the whole thing is over 4, and we can do a little bit better simplifying this. So this would be one fourth minus two cosine two theta over four would be just cosine two theta or two x over two plus over two and over four makes that be over eight. If you wanted to get that all to be one denominator, you could. That would be 2 over 8. And then this would be 4 cosine 2x over 8. And then we do have some like terms to combine just with our constants. So that's 3 minus 4 cosine. I wrote a two or a four instead of a two. All over eight. So this is the same directions. Rewrite it in first powers of cosine. So we're going to use the sine formula, sine power reducing formula. We replace sine squared with one minus cosine two x over two and replace cosine squared with one plus cosine two x over two. And then we can multiply these together. So the denominator is four. And when you multiply the numerators, that's the difference of squares pattern. So it's one minus cosine squared two x. And now since that's a squared, we need to do the power reducing formula again. So 
remember it's one plus cosine two times whatever was inside the cosine squared. So two times two X becomes four X. And that's all over four. And we can simplify that. You can think of all of these as fractions. I'll do this one a little bit different the way I simplify. And the denominators are one, two, and one. So we can clear out some of those fractions by multiplying everything by two. So that becomes two minus multiplying by two just cancels the denominator this time. Um, since it was a minus here, it would also be minus cosine 4x. Distribute the negative. All over, remember we're multiplying by 2. So 2 times 4 would be all over 8. And then 2 minus 1 is 1 minus cosine 4x. All over 8. So same directions reduce to first power to cosine. So we're going to use the power reducing formula. And that is, since it's cosine squared, it's 1 plus cosine 2 times whatever is in the cosine squared. So 2 times x over 2 is just x all over two and that's it similar question but this time it's using the sine power reducing formula so it's one minus cosine of two times whatever's in there so two times four x is eight x all over two 